to approve the agenda as it stands. I move to approve the agenda. Any seconds? Sorry, is something in the chat? I, it's kind of hard for me to look at everything. Yes. Thank you. Any objections? Hearing seeing no objections, we approve the agenda for tonight. Uh, going to the meeting minutes from last meeting. Um, just gonna scroll through it real quick. Are there any um, things that need to be changed or amended? Um, you can motion for that. Are there any motions on the floor? I move to approve the meeting minutes. Second. Uh, any objections? Sorry, did I hear anything? I was about to second, but I didn't realize somebody had already did. I pretty sure I heard a second, but um. Sure, whoever seconded first can second. But are there any objections? Hearing or seeing no objections, we move into our... <laughs> sorry, what wait. Sorry. I, I motioned to amend the agenda because my name was written wrong. I don't really care about it, but I just want to make sure it was right for the record. Oh, is he here? Thank you so much, Ruthie. Of course. Um, so could you amend for that? I motion to amend the agenda. Move. Um, uh, apologies. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Um, okay, I'm just gonna amend that real quick. Cool. Is that a good? Yes. Thank you so much. Okay. Are there any motions to approve the meeting minutes as it stands? I move to approve the meeting minutes. I second. Any objections? Hearing or seeing no objections, we've approved the meeting minutes from last meeting. Uh, going back to the agenda. Okay, cool. Our first um, budget request today is for Musical Theater Club. I believe we do have a representative from. Wait, sorry, did I miss something? Oh, okay, perfect. Um, okay. Um, I believe we had, do have a representative for Musical Theater Club. So um, if you could go ahead and just like real quick introduce yourself as well as the event that you're trying to get that in. Um, hello, I'm Max. I'm the treasurer. I'm Margo. I'm the vice president. I'm Richie. I'm the production manager. And we're getting funding for our spring um, big musical that we do every year. Perfect. We're just going to pull up the request real quick. Um, so for finance board members, are there any motions to enter a period of discussion for five minutes? Motion to enter a period of discussion for five minutes. Second. Objections? Can you see any objections? You've entered a period of discussion for five minutes. So um, just for like the student orgs, like understanding, we just kind of go through like a uh, motion a uh, period of discussion um, just to kind of look at the application as a whole and what um, finance board members thoughts based on the application is and if you have anything to add um, just say me in the chat and um, I'll be able to call on you so you'll be able to respond to any questions that arise during the discussion but um, going off of that are there any um, if anyone if anyone from finance board has to say anything just say me in the chat and call me I think that like it was a really good application. The only issue that we have was that there was a lot of people for the event, so we just wanted to clarify whether um, whether all those people are allowed in the fine hall, the saddle hall. And sorry that I didn't see me in the chat. Okay, thank you. Um, Ibadi, go ahead. Um, I agree with Usman. I think most the application in itself was, I think, spot on. They didn't ask for food or anything, so we don't have an issue there. But um, the limited amount of people in the recital is the only issue that I saw. And I believe that 
is only 175. I think from our last meeting, I think that's what um, Candace has said that the result was like 175 people. Um, Mahira? I think I calculated the max, which was like for 4,950. I think, Shruti, you cal calculated like something a little less, but regardless, like it's over. So we would have to cut, right? Yes, that is my understanding. But, um, Tori, go ahead. Um, and here's me with the loop. Um, this is over multiple days, so the numbers are technically fine. Um, I think since this is over multiple days, you can also reconsider what the max is. Um, typically, what we do for 33 per head is when it's a one off event, but this is over like six days. So keeping that in mind. Um, here, go ahead. So is there like a new max, Tori, or is it just like up to us? Um, I'd say it's kind of more so up to you all. Um, what is the total? So also just to be just to clarify, we do have to cut the campus life fees. The documentation, the new documentation is about a grand less, almost two grand less than that. So the campus life fees will actually be six thousand two hundred forty eight fifty, not seven thousand nine five four. Um, thank you, Shruti. So that is the new number on that, which will bring down the number a bit. Um, so even with the, to put into perspective, sorry, I'm, my brain's in like 12 different places to put into perspective, the total of what they're asking for, for something over six days, six days per max of what they were allowed to ask for. So like six times, almost five would be like 30 grand, but they're only asking for what, like, um, six, maybe eight grand total. So just to put into perspective of a six day event and it much less than what it really could have been um, if they were asking for each day individually. Um, Imani, go ahead. I think Tori covered it. I was just gonna ask how we were, how would we go about um, maximum, like knowing the max a lot, um, amount we were allowed to give them get, get, considering the fact that it is, it is over six days. Um, I, I think she pretty much answered um, my question though. Okay, perfect. Um, just going off of my perspective a little bit. So we know that the ECS fees, I'm just trying to do the math real quick, but um, the ECS fees should be $6,248.50. And um, I believe everything is included in that, including contracts from when I read it. What did it call? So that is the total amount. Um, that's more of a question for um, Musical Theater Club. If you guys um, can clarify, I'm pretty sure that's all that you have requested in the application, correct? Yes, I believe that the new form we got from ECS includes campus life and event supplies and common vision marketing. Okay, perfect. So the total amount, like we just said, is $6,248. So, um, Finance board members are and there. And 50 any... cents. And 50 cents, yes. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so finance board members, are there any other thoughts um, about the amount? And yeah, anything generally other than what we just discussed? Okay, Usman, go ahead. Yeah, um, I was going to say what Mahir just commented. If that's the new price, then we are all good and we can just fully fund the application without any issues. Perfect. Okay, seeing that there are no other thoughts from finance board members, are there any motions on the floor? I move to end your period of voting. Second. Oh, okay. Perfect. Any objections? Hearing or seeing no objections, we've entered a period of voting. I'm just going to enter the correct amount, $6,248.50. Okay, so all those in favor of approving the amount of six thousand two hundred forty eight dollars and fifty cents um, for to to allocate to musical theater clubs um, 
request, say I in the chat. And if you're not in favor of it, say they in the chat. That is everyone question mark. Okay, there. One. I think I'm missing Neil Bene, but um, there's a chance that she might have not heard us, so I'm just gonna count her as absent. But perfect. Congratulations, Musical Theater Club. Um, thank you so much for coming in, and um, you guys should receive an email from me by the by like the next in like two weeks or so. But yeah, congratulations and thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, perfect. Just gonna sign this real quick so I don't forget. Okay, moving on to our second um, item on our agenda, we have QPOC. Um, are there any representatives from QPOC in the meeting right now? Yes, uh, my name is Karen Griffin and I'm the secretary and treasurer. Perfect, um, could, you go, could you go ahead and just like introduce your um, events just a little bit and um, why you're requesting funding for it? Yeah, so um, the event that we're requesting funding for is our uh, tote bag painting event and uh, we are requesting funding uh, so we can help facilitate a discussion on um, how queerness intersects with uh, fashion and um, gender expression. And uh, um, I think it's an important discussion for um, our UMBC community and our uh, queer and um, BIPOC community to have. Perfect, thank you so much. Um, for our finance board members, are there any motions on the floor? Moving to a period of discussion for five minutes. Second. Objections? Hearing or seeing no objections, uh, we've moved into a period of discussion for five minutes. Um, so, um, if anyone has anything to add, say me in the chat. I just thought it was mom, so go ahead. It looks like Aya uh, put a note in the application saying that ECS made a mistake for $200 for the food and it was supposed to be $20. And if that's the case, then I believe that there was nothing wrong with the application. And so we should fully fund it. Yeah, I mean, like, as long as they're not doing it in a room, but if the food is a snack, then I don't think there's any problem of not funding it. Perfect. And yeah, Tori also said that's correct in the chat. Um, Anyone else? Imani, go ahead. I believe I my comment was they can't they the event can't just be for club members. And I believe that's how I many I think they only took into account the club members coming to their event. Um, I believe that's a question that we can pose for um our representative here. So um if I could just like reword that, um Karen, um how is this event targeted for just QPOC members or is it for the entirety of the UMBC community? Yeah, it's a closed event. Just in terms of numbers, we estimated um, like our, our max um, club members are like active club members. And if all of them don't show up, um, and I, I doubt that every single person is going to show up and it's, it's not closed to um, just our club, it's for all of UMBC. Um, but the numbers, how we came up with that was like our max active members. So um, if, if that makes sense. Um, so it's not like our average um, club members, but it's our maximum active club members. And um, I think ECS, I was a little bit confused because um, ECS said it could, it's easier if I make it closed or 
yeah, I'm not sure. It it doesn't really matter to the club, like whether it's open or closed. Um, so. Okay, yeah. Um, to clarify, like, um, finance board ne doesn't necessarily fund things that are um closed for just um community. I mean, like communities of students, in terms of student organizations, just to make sure it's like an inclusive and like community and like anyone who wants to can join. So that's kind of the reasoning behind it. And going along um, with that, this will be posted on my UBC so that it's more, um, it attracts every student who wants to be part of it, right? Yes, and it'll also be posted on um, Instagram. So it's not, it's not like a closed um, event. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. Um, anyone else? Or if money, if you want to continue, you can also go. Um, I think that was my only concern. Uh, was it seemed like it was a closed event, but she clarified it isn't. So I don't see anything wrong with putting this, um, event. So, um, just for clarification, um, I believe the total amount would be one hundred and ninety-eight dollars and twenty-six cents. Uh, Tori, am I right with that? Um, can we get clarification that it's actually twenty dollars and not just eighteen thirty-four, or like where that eighteen thirty-four came from? Um, okay, yeah. Right. So the eighteen. Oh, sorry. Um, the eighteen thirty-four came like a calculation from the current prices at Walmart, but ECS um, recommended that we request twenty dollars because of um, like tax or price fluctuations. They said that usually ECS will like um we'll round up for requests just so that we're not under okay so since that wasn't an actual quote we do have to go based off of what's in the request so since it's not like it's ecs's quote um that we're going off of that 20 um we're gonna have to go with 1834 so student orgs also you wouldn't pay tax um it would be a tax exempt purchase so unfortunately unless they they gave you an actual quote that said twenty dollars but if this is food and drink for like walmart or something like that that's not really something they have the um i don't want to say right to quote on that isn't really theirs to make a quote on if you're buying like snacks and stuff from walmart so we're gonna have to we'd have to base it off of what's in here for the 1834. does that make sense okay thank you yes it does okay thank you. yep if this was like for the like a room reservation fee or or fees that they were charging you 100% we would consider changing that um, but like snacks from Walmart or a grocery store like that isn't something that um, we have to base that off of what you submit initially with that okay with that clarification in mind um, I'm, sh I'm pretty sure the or the uh, the total should come out to be $196.60 and Correct. um Perfect. Okay. So given that is the total amount, are there any more questions or concerns or thoughts um, that anyone wants to raise before we move into a period of voting? I move into the period of voting. Second. Second. Okay. Any objections? If you're seeing the objections, we've entered a period of voting. Um, I'm just gonna go back to this real quick and just put everything. Okay, um, so if you think that the event should be funded for the total of $196.60, um, as requested, then say aye in the chat. If not, say nay in the chat for all the finance and numbers. I think we have six. Uh, I don't think Mila Gane is able to hear us, but that is fine. So I think we're just gonna go with six, zero, two, and congratulations. Your um, request has been approved and fully funded. Thank you so much for coming in. Okay, thank you. Have a great day.
okay. Moving on, um, our next request is from Batman Club. Um, while we're at it, are there any um, representatives from Batman and Club in the meeting right now? And if so, could you just go ahead and introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm Savannah. I'm the president of the Batman Club and I'll be here for the budget. Perfect. Uh, could you just go ahead and introduce your event just a little bit so you'll have a bit more context? Yeah, exactly. So we're mostly, we're mostly requesting budgeting just for an event called the Badminton and Nightclub event. We're hoping to play badminton and have a few like, you know, friendly scrimmage, scrimmages or tournaments between our UMBC club members. Um, it'll be around night. We're hoping it'll be sometime in late April um, or it's warm out so that way it's at night. So we were thinking we'd have funding for food. We'd also have funding for like, I think, lights uh, since it'll be at night. And I'm um, trying to think about what else. So yeah, that was kind of like the main gist of it. Perfect, thank you. Okay, so for our finance members, are there any motions to enter a period of discussion? To move into a period of discussion. Uh, any second? Second. Any objections? Can you see no objections? We've moved into a period of discussion for five minutes. I didn't clarify that before, but um, yeah. So um, if any of the finance members have anything to add, please leave me in the chat so I can call on you. Usman, go ahead. Uh, so like, is there any problem that they requested T-shirt for your budget along with the what they are requesting um, for the event as well? Is that like um, something that we can do? So just for clarification, um, we can't fund uh, merchandise purchases past the merchandise um, deadline. And it should have been submitted as a separate request, I believe. So we aren't considering that um, at this moment. We're just looking at the okay. event itself. Was that, was that supposed to be requested through Sahas or something like that? Yes, okay. it was. So our special um, already did submit that for, I think, merchandise. So we should be good there. Okay. I believe. So Perfect. just to, just to clarify, I'll double check to see if there is one in there, but there's a separate marketing and merchandise fund. Um, what your request, sorry, I didn't mean to cut everybody off. Um, what you are requesting is for like almost $500 and for a lot of different things for both shirts, for keychains, for cords. Um, that cannot be considered in this request. The finance board does not fund giveaways. Um, so I know the t-shirts are for the participants at least based on what is stated in the um, in the request. So the t-shirts, although they are for the event, cannot be considered because the finance board does not fund for giveaways for events, just to clarify. And I will double check to see if there is one in there for marketing and merchandise. Um, I think if there is, we're missing information for it, but, le but that's not what we're worried about right now. Can focus back on the event. Okay, understood. So yeah, um, besides the t-shirts, I believe everything else was in, included in the Sahas. So we should be good there, but okay, I understand. Yeah. Uh, just a quick clarification, if you could just um, say me in the chat as well, just to maintain a little bit more order between um, the finance board reps as well as um, advisors and um, the club members, that'd be greatly appreciated. Okay. Um, Imani, go ahead. Um, can you scroll down for a minute, Shruti? I don't know why I feel like I'm not on the right. Yeah, of course. Um, it's 608 if that helps. Yeah, but like, yeah, mine's is being kind of weird. It's just, um, the money on there is the $600 for food. And then it's also, um, it's also the, um, the amount of money that she put into that documentation asking for the giveaway items that we, um, that we can't fund. Um, since this is on Erickson Field, do we, is there a capacity for that? Um, Tori, go ahead. I'm pretty sure that this event, and Savannah, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this event's getting moved to the tennis courts. Um, I, when I spoke with Matt the other day regarding it. Um, so, 
the tennis courts bring down cost quite a bit because Erickson needs light and a whole bunch of other things. I also just want to state that the ECS requests, there aren't any, so we cannot consider those since they were not initially asked for. So although there is a quote for that, we cannot consider it. However, if you all do consider that funding at $600 for food, that doesn't mean the club can't try to do a resgaf and reallocate if that's something that gets signed off on. Just throwing that out there. Okay. Um, also, could you clarify on the other question that we had? Yes. So the there is not a request in for marketing and merchandise, and it is past the deadline for that. So one was started. Um, it was only started two days ago, though. Um, and the deadline for marketing and merchandise was October 20th, the same as the semesterly budgets. Um, going back in line, Imani, do you have anything else to add? Um, so given that it's getting moved to the tennis courts, what is the maximum number that we are allowed to, how many people are they allowed to have on the tennis courts at one time? Uh, I mean, it's outside, so. Oh, that shit doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm sure there is a capacity, but there's very unlike chance that that would get reached. Um, we were we had over thousands of people on Ericsson and that wasn't over capacity, so I'm not worried about it. Um, they have 75 listed and that is what a room capacity is for some rooms. So I think they are well within the numbers of what they'd be permitted. Okay. And uh, I think my last, my last uh, concern was that um, on the application, I said it was aimed for um, club members. Um, just for clarification, you are like, putting this on my UNBC and letting other people know that this event is going on to like, is the goal to like get more club members or just to have everybody come and like, like just play a game of badminton with you guys? Um, Savannah, if you wanna go again. Ahead yeah, I'm sorry, for some reason, I can't type anything to the chat so I can only speak. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, so we can just make it general. Uh, we can just make it general for everyone. Okay. Perfect. So I think Rahman and Mihira both don't have their clarification name or their question anymore. <laughs> so um, are there any other people who want to speak or ask questions or put their thoughts out? Oh, so, yeah. I mean, sorry, go ahead. Who was saying? It was me. <laughs> okay, only, go ahead. Go. The only other question that I have was um, the graduation court and stuff. Are we allowed to fund that? So that goes into the same line as like t-shirts and stuff. So we're not necessarily going to fund that. It's the only thing that's under consideration at this moment is the food and drink that has been requested. So the $600 of food and drink. Thank you. So, based off of that, are there any other thoughts that we have before we move into the period of voting? I move into a period of voting. Second. To clarify, okay. Are there any objections? When you're seeing no objections, we moved into a period of voting. Um, again, to clarify, we're only considering funding the $600 of food and drink, and seeing as there are no concerns towards that, that is the amount that we're looking at. So based off of this, um, if you think that Batman Club should be funded for the in the amount of six hundred dollars that can be looked at, then say I in the chat. If not, then say me in the chat. Wait, um, damn it. Never mind. <laughs> but what's up? I just had a question about something else, but yeah, unfortunately, it's too late. <sighs>
Uh, I think we're still right waiting for someone. I don't know who. Devin. Devin. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we have six four zero opposed. Uh, one abstaining, two not present, and congratulations, your um, request has been approved by finance board. Um, go ahead, Tori. Uh, Sorry, I was muted. Um, I just wanted to explain something real quick for Savannah. Um, I know that there are ECS fees attached to this and that that was not funded tonight. However, if you do fill out a reallocation form um, through through not the finance board, but through the treasurer and truthy, I'm not sure if you sign off on those two or not, but there is reallocation forms where you could take some of that money from the 600 towards ECS if you choose to do that. Um, there is also your, um, why can't I remember what they were called? Your $200 that was given to everyone um, by finance board sure. also. Thank you very much. Um, also to cover that if that's needed as well. Yeah, also adding to that, um, I guess the reason we couldn't fund it is because it wasn't in the original application. We kind of look for that um, when we fund things. So just because it wasn't there and it wasn't attached and it wasn't asked for, that was, that was just something that we just could not consider at all. But um, there are other avenues to get the same amount of funding. So um, hope that works out for you guys. But thank you so much for coming in. Have a good night. You too. Okay, um, moving on. Our next three are okay. Are from Six Student Association. Um, they. Oh my God. Okay, I just realized that I already made the legislation for these three, and I kind of just redid it. Did not think about that. Okay. Give me one second while I try to find the original ones. Did not even hit me. You can also look at the legislation tracker. I put it on there. Okay, perfect. It's 47, 48, 49, I'm pretty sure. I will figure that out in a sec. But while we're at it, are there any representatives from Six Student Association with us? I do not think so. Okay. Um, so for just clarification, um, we had the ability to or we basically saw this request earlier, hence why I forgot this legislation existed. Um, but the idea is that they didn't have um, a room, res room reserved that could have food, and the majority of the request was food. So um, we were able to give them some more time to make sure that they are able to move um, their uh, the location of their event so that they could have food so that we can um, discuss it and it makes sense to fund if we end up funding. So I'm going to pull up the request. Then while I do that, are there any motions on the floor? Move into a period of discussion for five minutes. Seconds. Any objection? Hearing or seeing no objections, um, we moved into a period of discussion for five minutes. Okay. So I believe this request um, just had the $50 in food and $10 in supplies, and that was the entirety of the request. So it's a total of $60. And um, now that, oh, for clarification, one sec, let me just pull up the email chain. But um, they were able to move their event to, I think it was Commons 329. And that place allows food. So, and, and also Candace confirmed that, that there has been a tentative reservation for that room. So we're able to fund food. Okay. Given that, are there any um, thoughts for finance board? It seems like a pretty good event, but at the same time, doesn't it seem like a general body meeting, though? 
I would tend to agree, but technically they have written it is open to all, or I forgot the exact wording, but like anyone is welcome. So looking at the technicalities of it, they said that anyone can come. So yeah. Uh Rahman, go ahead. So um I don't know if we can do this, but can we like like require them to like kind of um like make note that everyone can attend like on their flyers or like on my UMBC and things like that. Yeah, um, at least for Sahas, I have been able to like attach notes to like in contingencies upon like funding kind of thing. So I think that should be an option, right, Tori? Sorry, um, I couldn't get back to my WebEx tab. I think your requirement for my UMBC to post it should be good um, because those goes out to everyone. Um, anything else, Rahman? Uh, that's all for now. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um. Anyone else? I move into a period of voting. Um, just to pose like a question out there. Oh wait. <laughs> I was just gonna say something. Is it okay if I say something before we move into a period of voting? Well, nobody second it, so. Okay, perfect. Um, I was just going to clarify that we're okay with the $60 in total. And, like, if I could get, like, verbal confirmation from, like, someone so that we're all someone on the same page, that would be good. So we don't rush into any periods of voting. I don't think we're good at $60. Or is it $70? Because it's a surprise. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 60 yeah. Yeah, I also agree with Imani. It doesn't seem like every, there's anything wrong with the application. Okay, perfect. Um, are there any seconds to Usman's motion to enter a period voting? Okay. Any objections? We're seeing no objections. We moved into a period of voting. So same deal, guys. Um, I in the chat, if we're okay with funding the seventy dollars, seventy no sixty dollars that they've um requested, may if not. And I think it's all six of us. Okay, six zero one two and yay we've approved oh wait i have to figure out the date that okay well i'll do that eventually okay so i think 48 is the next one so this is um 731 so I'm guessing there's still, oh, I think, um, Tori, would you be able to move 731 to? Yes. Stage? Sorry, I thought it already was. Um, I can just pull it up real quick in TSD. But... Oh, I moved it too many stages. That's why. <laughs> uh. um, okay, it's back to review stage. I had it in vote stage, my bad. Perfect, got it, okay. So back to part two of 16 Association to Circuit the Night. Um, again, to note, it says anyone is welcome. And the request is for $100 in food, and that is it. Okay, any thoughts? I move into a field. Oh, thank you. Any seconds? A second. Imani, go ahead. I, was about, I just second Usman. Um, I think it's, if they're pretty much all the same. Just asking for money. 
And her knowledge isn't a lot to ask for. Well, Arman, go ahead. Uh, since we already seconded, I can't really say much, but I just wanted to um, uh, know. Uh, so, so in, in terms of, uh, do, do they have like an expected amount of people on the request itself? I, I don't have it visible with me right now. Um, for 40 attendance. UMBC undergraduates attended. Okay, that makes sense. So 40 people and $100 for food. So thank yes. you so much for the clarification. Mm -hmm. uh, Usman, go ahead. Um, are they using the same room, Commons 329, for the same event? That is my understanding from the email chain. Okay, great. That's... Does everyone else have the same understanding, like Imani and Tori? Yeah, that's how I took it. Okay, perfect. Anyone else? Oh, um, Imani, go ahead. Yeah, I was about to say from we were like, like as you can see, good communication for for a couple of days. I'm trying to get it straight. Um, mm -hmm. from, they never like straight from the fact they just needed money for food and they just needed to change the room to get it. So, right. um, I think pretty much it should all be the same as long as they don't go overboard asking for food. I think it's I think it's all good. Cool. I tend to agree with that. Okay, um, if there are any more like voices of, okay, perfect. Seeing that most of us agree, are there any motions to enter a period of voting for the $100 request? I move to enter into a period of voting. I second. Objections? Hearing or seeing the objections, we moved into a period of voting. Same deal, guys. Um, I in the chat, if you want to fund it as it stands, um, nay, if not. I think Devin. Devin? Sorry, uh, I. I I, that. Vote. Oh, yeah. Oh, he did say I. Wait, where did it say that? Oh, he. He didn't roll it, he just said with his mic. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, I my internet connection at home is really bad, so I'm sure I'm missing a bunch of stuff you guys say <laughs> accidentally. But um perfect. Okay. Oh my god, campus Wi-Fi is better than my home Wi-Fi. That's a bit of a problem. But yay, this has been passed. Oh god. Okay, moving to the third um, six student association request. Um, it's 733 and it should be in the review stage. So while I'm doing this, are there any motions on the floor? I move into a period of discussion. A second. Any objections? We're seeing objections. We've entered a period of discussion. Um, from what I remember, this should be pretty simple as well. But this is the other one, right? <laughs> Let's get the same one. Okay, perfect. They're paint night. So it's just again a hundred dollars for food. Um, Imani, go ahead. Uh, and can I just, I moved into a period of voting. Um, let's just say like one or two. I mean, personally, I just like, just at least vote voice, uh, opinion of support or not just for the sake of having a discussion. Okay. Uh, so we're just all on the same page. I support it. It's um, pretty similar to the other two. It just asking for a hundred dollars for food. Um, nothing more, nothing less. I feel like we should fund it. Here. I agree. I'll be, um, or no, I, I want to fund this here. Yes. 
or um Usman, sorry. Yeah, I also agree with them. It's just a hundred. I mean, they were questioning hundred dollar, and it yeah, pretty much the same as the other application. So fully fun. Perfect. Okay. Now, are there any or are there any seconds to the motion that was said to enter a period of voting? I second. Any objections? Okay, you're seeing no objections. You've entered a period of voting for this request. Same deal. Um, I in the chat if we think we should fund it for a hundred dollars. Nay, if not. And that's all six, right? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Six, four, zero opposed, one abstaining, two not present, 11, 23, 2021. 20, Perfect. Um, yay. They, fund, they got their funding after a month of deliberation, but I'm happy we got through this. Okay. Perfect. Um, moving to our last item on our agenda. This is so fun. We're going to such a quick meeting, knock on wood. Um, okay. So this is the Engineers Without Borders application. Um, this was accidentally submitted as a Sahas application and we were able to make the decision, oh my God, to um, still consider it um, even though it was submitted incorrectly. But um, I'm just gonna pull it up real quick. While I'm doing this, are there any uh, motions on the floor? I move into a period of discussion for five minutes. Second. I second. Any objections? Then we're seeing no objections. We've entered a period of discussion. Um, this one, go ahead. They mentioned that like this is, I mean, like the key takeaway for the event is to build it. I mean, like to build a community. That is great. But they mentioned that it's a general body meeting, sadly. So I don't think we can fund it. What did they actually? Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> I don't know how I skipped that, but that's so funny. Okay. Um, oh my God, while we're here, I don't think I saw any members or representatives. Yeah, I didn't see any. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, Imani, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to agree with Usman. Like they blatantly said it was a general body meeting and it's just a no. For us, I didn't even know that was an option on there. Yeah, it's kind of funny that there is an option for that, but yeah, that is an option. Anyone else? Any other thoughts? If not, um, I think it makes sense. We can just like vote on it, but I guess vote the way that you think you should vote. But um. If there are no more thoughts, are there any motion center period of? Yeah, dead in. Um, generally, GBMs, it's the idea that it restricts the number of pe the people who can attend to only the club members. And as finance people, we want to fund things that are generally inclusive of all, all of the UBC community. So we can't fund GBMs. That's the reasoning. But um, seeing that there are no other thoughts regarding this. OK, perfect. Any seconds? Second. Objections? Seeing or seeing no objections, we've entered a period of voting. Um, I'm going to the wrong tab. So I'm going to put $100 because that's what they asked for. Um, so, okay, same idea. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I in the chat if you want to fund it. Uh, nay, if you don't. And here I may just remind you that this is the GBM. <laughs> <laughs> Not to sway your vote, but Nate. I'm so sorry. It's a typo. So what <laughs> you're, you're doing great. Um, I believe that was everyone. And Nayla Benet. Okay, perfect. Am I missing anyone? Okay, I don't think so. That's seven, not four, no zero. Seven opposed. 
on abstaining, one not present, and 11, 23, 2021. Okay. Um, why did my brain say to like think to say congratulations? But okay. I'm not thinking. Okay, perfect. Are there any motions to enter a period of announcements? Honestly, autopilot, yeah. I mentioned, uh, I, I, I motion. I move into a period of announcement. I move to enter a period of announcement. I move okay. to enter into a period of announcement. Good. Okay. A second. Okay. Perfect. Um, any objections? Here, I no objections. You've entered a period of announcements. Um, I just want to say, have a good break, guys. Rest up. Recuperate from our nonstop like months of work. So yeah. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving. How about it? Uh, Rahman, go ahead. Yeah, I hope you can hear me because my connection has been awful. But um, if you are a political science major, we have an upcoming event next um, next week, December first. It'll be a Wednesday. It's called Happy Hour. Um, it's like we're going to have, we have like seven alumni that will be coming to the happy hour. We'll just be talking about what to do with your political science degree, um, faculty, professors, uh, everyone will be there. We'll have pizza, hot chocolate. It's, it's going to be incredible. So I hope all of you, the ones that can show up, please do show up. Thank you. Um, Fiona asks what time it is. Is it? Wait. Yeah, I'm so sorry. So, uh, we're gonna, I think there's a post on my UMBC, but it is December 3rd, Wednesday from 4 to 5 p.m. So, it's like kind of in the afternoon and it's like a drop in event. So, like, um, you just come in, you network, you, you connect with some alumni, you talk to professors in the political science department, and you grab some pizza and hot chocolate and yeah. you're on your, on your way out. So, It'll be exciting. Thank you. Isn't that the same time as steering committee? You know what, Truthy? Let's talk about that later. <laughs> no, no, no. I think it is, but I'll be dropping in and I'll be coming straight there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> clarification. Okay, perfect. Um, actually, no, steering committee is every other week, so you're good. Um, anyone else? If not, are there any motions to enter a period of adjournment? I move to enter a period of adjournment. I second. Any objections? Here I see no objections. Um, we third. Um, we um, y'all have moved to adjourn the meeting, but um, a final roll call. I see that Amina, Devin, Fiona, Imani, Mahira, Nila, Benay, Usman. Mon and I are all present as well as our ex officio member Tori. Okay, I'm gonna start stop recording and we can do like a really quick like two word pass the gavel because I know I'm really tired. But wait, let me and that how do I do this? Can we stop sharing first? Can it help? <laughs>